and Cherry Chapstick. Mm. And I'm going to post videos every, like, Saturday or Sunday, hopefully, and if I get any va followers, <laughs> you can comment on my videos, and if you want, if there's something you want me to talk about, and I think it's a good idea, I'll do it, give you a shout out, and maybe, just maybe, I won't tell you to go for it yourself. So the other night, I had this idea. I should be in a band when I'm older, because I love to sing, and my brother can be the drummer. He's 32 right now. So I pictured us at our first interview, and I'd be like, and this is my brother, he's our drummer, he's 38. I don't know why I picked that age, but I did, so if you don't like it, I don't care. So then I thought, my brother's going to be 38 in six years. Holy shit, I'm going to be 20 in only six years? I've already lived two sets of six years, and two more years, which I have to mention, because two is an even number. And then I sat up in my bed, that bed, and I said out loud, that was the randomest fucking thing I could have put there. Well, except magical rainbow monkeys with purple cherry eyes. Yeah, that's pretty random. So I have this dog. He has bright blue eyes. And so ultimately, I named him Puffy Carl, because that's the most logical name for him, which is obvious. I know I didn't need to say that. Uh, he barks so freaking loud, like, loud. We have had three police visits to my house saying that they've gotten calls and complaints of a domestic disturbance here. And we've had to explain three times that we have a loud dog. We've had to explain that. They're the people protecting us. Can we talk about malls for a second? If you're a 10-year-old girl, you shop at Justice. Most likely, at least. And since you're a little kid, you want to act all cool so the big kids think you're so cool because you're so cool. So you go in and look at stuff at Wet Seal like your mom's going to let you wear it. There's that dog. I can hear him barking. Sorry if you can. I'll try to talk over him. Anyway. Uh. Where was I? Oh yeah, small. But if you go into Wet Seal. Carrying a justice bag. That just proves everything I just said. Clearly proves it. Clearly. And that's a true story. I have a friend that can vouch for that. We went to Wet Seal. Two little ten year old girls wearing like. Bright pink and bright green and little velcro shoes. Yeah. Carrying justice bags, looking at the sluttiest stuff Wet Seal can sell. And I love Wet Seal, don't get me wrong, but you know. And I'm just like, oh, okay. Um, yeah. <sighs> Another true story. I love to play video games. Yeah, I like video games. My parents won't buy me an Xbox, though. But this is how I play video games. Da da, motherfucker. Okay, you win, I'm a girl. Stop. Just went already and kill me. Uh, really? Help the no. And there goes his head. Mm. So speaking of video games, anyone like Minecraft? I like Minecraft. I don't play online anymore, though, because of kids. One time I was on Minecraft, and this kid says to me, Go fuck. And I say, To be a dick. What? Go fuck what? And he says, Just go fuck. That's mean, right? And I say, it's nine-year-olds like you that ruin Minecraft. And then he says, hey, 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 excuse me, I'm ten. Mmm, sorry, didn't realize how much older you were. You're right. I've lost all faith in kids. Speaking of little kids playing video games, my little cousin, she's ten. She plays Minecraft all the time. That's all she knows. Mm -hmm. And uh, the other day she says to me, I did something bad. Assuming that she expects me to care for some reason, I say, What? What did you do? And she goes, I said the D word on Minecraft. You know, mm, it. And then I look at her and I go, Oh my god! I'm telling your parents, I have to. And then she, she flips out. And, you know, then we get off the subject and everything, talk about something else, and her mom comes out. So I casually say, Auntie, your daughter cussed on Minecraft. She looks at her daughter and she goes, No, you don't do that, sweetie. And walks away. And I look over at my little cousin and she looks like she's about to burst out into tears. Her face is all red. Her ears are... Her ears... Her eyes are sort of... Ish, watery. And, uh, you know, her, her lip is quivering and, and her, her hands are trembling and, and she's coming out saying, You know, the fake cry. So I look over to her and I go, Honey... No one cares. Speaking of an annoying cousin, do you have annoying cousins? I have an annoying cousin. She texts me nonstop from her 
mom phone. Like, uh, her mom's phone? Really? Because that's cute. Seriously, she can never get a phone. I will die. I'll just die. She, she'll text me, and she'll be like, hey, how you doing? Good, good. I'm great. Heart this phone. Don't know how I lived without it. Never gonna live out again. I may never know. And I don't reply, because I don't talk to people that need a dictionary. So, two hours later, she'll text me again saying, Hey, I heart this guy. He your age, but age don't matter, yo. Hook me up. I'm like, you want to date a guy that's like three or four years older than you? You think that's going to happen? And you think that's going to be allowed to happen? Okay, and that's your story. The guy's name is Jake. <sighs> then I had to explain to her why that's not going to happen. Of course. Well, I really have nothing more to say, because I don't really have a life. Uh, so, again, if you want to comment anything you want me to talk about, if I think it's a good idea, I will, and then I'll give you a shout-out. And, uh, if you want to criticize me, feel free to. I'll try to take it seriously, but if you're being a bitch, just go get hit by a car, because I don't care. Bye!